Come on, 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 in his presence, this is our second program for the evening. This is DJ KB Topola Radio UK. I believe you are well. I uh, too for Reverend Vanderpoy is ready uh, to take us through the second program. In his presence, the word of God says, "In his in this in the presence of God, there is what fullness of joy." That is a yeah. favorite text of Reverend Vanderpoint. So, without wasting much time, I'll bring <laughs> the man of God and we will start. Welcome to In His Present, Reverend Vanderpoint. How are you, sir? Thank you. I'm blessed of the Lord. The Lord has been faithful. How are you, yourself? I'm good. Thank you. How is the network and the family? Mm -hmm. The grace of God is sufficient. Abundance of his grace. Amen. 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 So, man of God, um, take us through this episode. Where did we end and where are we going? Hallelujah. Amen. We, we have been doing the seven churches in Asia Manor. First of all, God, God bless you for joining us. You are welcome to the program. Dear listeners, DJ KB, Amen. Top Online Radio, and we share a word of prayer before we zoom into the word itself. Amen. Father, you are a merciful God. You are the God of all flesh. There is nothing difficult for thee. We once again thank you for how far you have brought us. In your presence, there is fullness of joy. And at your right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. You always show us the path of life. Father, we come before you tonight. As we share your word, may your mercies endure in our lives. May you brood over us. Spirit divine, meet somebody at the point of each or a need. Lord, manifest your glory. Lord, touch us that we will know that of a truth you are the living God. No one comes before you and goes the same. This evening, we are in to dine with the Lord. We are in to feed on the word of God. May the words of our mouth be acceptable unto the unto the throne of God. May God receive us and endow us with his power. Mm -hmm. You are more than a conqueror. You are victorious in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Once again, Jesus loves you. Amen. Once again, it is a pleasure. It is a good thing for us to come before the presence of God. Amen. I, I don't take this opportunity lightly at all. I would thank the old staff of uh, uh, Top, Online. Top Online Radio mm -hmm. and my presenter, one and only DJ KB. God bless you thank all. You, oh, so far, we've been talking about the seven churches in Turkey. Those days, it was Asia Manor. We say... John, John the Apostle or John the Revelator, he had the revelation concerning the seven churches. He was on the island of Patmos, and God, Jesus, revealed unto him. And first of all, we've spoken about the uh, loveless church. That is the church at Ephesus. We've spoken about the persecuted church. That is the church as murder and the compromising church. We've spoken about the 
compromising church at Pergamos. And last week, we spoke about the corrupt church at Tiatera. Th and today, we will go to Revelation chapter 3 to another church, the church at Sardis. And as we read Revelation chapter 3, verses 1 to 6, the Lord will teach us his word. May the eyes of everyone be open to the, uh, the word of the living God. As we read the word, the Lord will add his blessings to the reading of his word. Revelation chapter 3, 1 to 6, please. Okay. One second. Oh, right, Revelations 3, 1 to 6. Yes, please, sir. I read, and to the angel of the church in Sardis, write, These things says he who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. I know your works, that you have a name, that you are alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found your works perfect before God. Remember therefore how you have received and heard. Hold fast and repent. Therefore if you will not watch, I will come upon you as a thief. And you will not know what hour I will come upon you. You have a few names even in Sardis who have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. He who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments, and I will not blot out his name from the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. He who has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says to the churches. Amen. Amen. Thank you, DJ KB, for the reading of the word. <laughs> Amen. The whole uh, 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 churches, God was talking about repentance. And the church as Sardis, the church as Sardis, they say it was a city, uh, the capital city of the kingdom of Lydia in Asia Manor, Turkey today. And it, it was inhabited by the temple of Atmos, the goddess of hunting and, and the moon. The capital uh, 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 ancient kingdom of Lydia, like I said. And Sardis was one of the wealthiest cities. All the seven cities, there was something unique about them. They were worthy. And it was an important city, a commercial city. So to say, a, cos a cosmopolitan city with diverse people. But the word of the Lord that came is that I know your works. God knows the works of every individual. You seem alive, but you are dead. That was physically, they were so happy. They were producing a lot. They were being fruitful physically. But in the spiritual realm, they became dead. And when you relate it to the church today, most of us, or some of us, so to say, are going about our activities. We are prospering. Things are being very well for us. And outwardly, when you are prospering, we take it to be that uh, you are on top. And naturally, some are prospering physically, and in the realm of the spirit too, they are prospering. But we need to be watchful. They say the problem 
of the church as Sadis was they were uh, spiritually overconfident. They thought they have arrived. Mm. And that is the situation of us, some of us today. But I love the Apostle Paul. He says, I count not myself to be apprehended. But this is one thing I do. I forget the things of the past. And I press forward. May we press forward. He said, I press forward for the price of the high calling. Amen. Are we pressing forward? In this our days, or in the human realm, most times, power makes us to, to forget ourselves. Some people, when they are put in position of power, they forget about everything. But God revealed to John, and but therefore, how you have received and heard the word of God. The verse 2 says, Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found your works perfect before God. May your work in the Lord, may your labor of love in the Lord be found perfect in the Lord. Amen. Watchfulness. When you are watchful, you become alert. You become focused. You become uh, steadfast. Steadfastness. And when you are watchful, it makes you take break. When there is need for break, you will realize it. But because of the busyness of our life, and the activities we are involved in. We are Christians, all right. Even the work of God can make you so busy that you do not take breaks, but be watchful and strengthen the things that are that remain that are about to die. Oh, today many Christians are doing lip service, and in the church of Sardis, they went about their businesses. They do everything willingly, but they were living physically strong, but spiritually dead. And tonight, it is our prayer that we will be spiritually, uh, uh, physically strong, likewise spiritually strong. When you are watchful, even in your, in your uh, physical activities, in your everyday activities, in the work that you do. When you are watchful, it makes you alert, honestly. When you are watchful, you observe a lot. And you are about, to, you, you are able to take inventory. Child of God, tonight, take inventory of your relationship with the Lord, of the things of God, of how you go about your everyday life and it's expedient concerning our everyday life as well be watchful and strengthen the things which remain for there are some things they are remaining but they, they are about to die i pray in the name of jesus that everything that relates to your life everything that relates to my life it will not die off. Amen. The Lord will strengthen the things that are about to die. If you are watchful, He reveals to redeem. May the Lord reveal unto you the things that needs attention. May you be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For your labor of love in the Lord is not in vain. The Lord will bless the work of your hands. And we will read some few scriptures. Because he says, remember therefore how you have received and heard. Hold fast and repent. Repentance is uh, making a U-turn. 
Repentance is turning to the direction of God. You cannot repent when you are not watchful. You cannot repent when you are not observing or not going before God in prayer and asking God to direct you to the right path. May, may we receive the God principles in our life. May we repent. May we accept where we are wrong. May we not do lip service. Amen. For many, our, our, our voices are being heard. We are going to church, but our heart is far from God. And tonight, some scriptures will bat us what we are, uh, we are establishing. The church at Sardis was the dead church. It's so sad when you think you are at it. It's so sad when you think everything is all right, but spiritually you are dead. We come out of dryness. We come out of impurity. We come out of the works of the flesh. May we cultivate the fruit of the spirit. Amen. May we be inclined spiritually. The hand of the Lord be upon the church. Colossians 4 and the verse 2. Colossians. Colossians 4. Verse 2, please. I read from the New King James Version, Colossians 4, verse 2. Oh, verse two. Continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. I repeat, continue earnestly in prayer, being vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Amen. Hallelujah. Continue Earnestly in prayer, in addition to your activities, your everyday life, continue earnestly in prayer with thanksgiving. You need to continue in the work of the Lord. You need, uh, uh, this one says, continue earnestly, be vigilant in it with thanksgiving. Be watchful. Vigilante is to be watchful. <coughs> diligent is to be watchful. You cannot be diligent if you are not careful in what you do. If you don't take inventory or if you don't <coughs> assess what you are doing. So uh, uh, continue earnestly in prayer. Father, we pray that the mantle of prayer will come Amen. upon us. We pray that the hand of God will be released upon Amen. us tonight. That we will continue earnestly. Amen. And in Matthew 26 and the verse 41. Matthew 26 verse 41. This was the time that Jesus took his disciples to the garden of Gethsemane. And let's read what he says. He said, watch and pray. Matthew 26. Matthew, the first. 40, 41. Verse 41. Watch and pray. Lest you enter into temptation. I think it's, uh, yeah. The spirit indeed Amen. is willing, but the flesh is weak. I take it again. Watch and pray. Lest you enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. Amen. Take note, watch and pray. In that revelation that we read, it said, Be watchful and strengthen the things that are about to die. Watch and pray. Least you enter into temptation. Be watchful. For the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. May we be watchful. Mm -hmm. Jesus took his disciples 
to the garden of Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. And the Bible says he left them and went to yonder and prayed. He was praying about the crucifixion because it has been revealed and it has been prophesied that he would die for the sins of humanity. But in his fleshy body, he prayed that, Lord, if this cup is heavy, take it away from me. But he says, not my will, but the will of God be done. And he came back and he saw his disciples sleeping. This is no time to sleep. The deadness of the church depends on our activities, dormant activities. If we are watchful, if we are prayerful, if you seek the presence of God and the face of God, the Lord will deliver you from temptation. Amen. Tonight, it is our prayer that the Lord will deliver us from the sins of this world. Amen. The Lord will cause us to be active physically, active, spiritually, to live to please God. And Jesus came and they were sleeping. And he said, couldn't you tarry with me for one hour? He went again and came back and they were sleeping. And he said, watch and pray. Oh, child of God, I, God is calling you and I to be watchful. For the darkness of our spirituality is causing the enemy to triumph over us. But I pray for you and I pray with you that the Lord will cause our spirit to be boosted up. That we will stand tall in the spiritual realm. That we will be watchful. For temptation is knocking at our door. We come against the flesh. We come against the things of the world. Amen. We come against the activities that is not bringing edification to our lives. Father, Amen. in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, tonight, as we watch and pray, may we be able to see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Amen. You have few names even in Sadis. And today we say we have few names in the church. And today, if I will speak for God, we have many names, not few. Many, many, many. We have many names who have not, uh, uh, we, uh, we have many names who have not defied their garments. Or many names who have defied their garments. May you not defy your garments. May you not be unholy. Amen. May you not uh, be a victim of uh, sin. Amen. May the word of God be written on the tablet of our heart. Amen. He said they have defied, they have not defied their garment, and they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. May you be counted worthy. Amen. May you wear a garment of purity. It says again in fact, whoever overcomes shall be clothed in white garments. May your garment be white. Everything to do with white, we are talking of purity here. May you be sanctified. May every temptation that is knocking at my door, that is knocking at your door, as you pray, as you seek the face of the Lord, Jesus said, pray without ceasing. Amen. Pray always. Seek the face of the Lord. And First Thessalonians, First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse six, 5 and 6. He will not blot out your name from the book of life, but he will confess his name before my father. First Thessalonians 5. First Thessalonians 5. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 5 and 6, please. 
5 and 6. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. Amen. Amen. You are all sons of the light. You are the son of light. You are the daughter of light. And sons of the day, where there is light, there is no darkness. I pray the light of God into your abode. I pray that you will walk perpetually in the light of God. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Ah, when you are watchful, you won't be of the night. You won't be in darkness. Honestly, if you are watchful, we can testify, DJKB. When you are involved in something and you are watchful mm -hmm. and you are vigilant, yeah. oh, your, your mistakes will be minimal. Yeah. Yes. Because you can take break and you can observe when things are going wrong you can pause That's right. and ask God for wisdom. If not God, people, if you are in a business, so to say, and things are not going very well for you, and you are observant through watching, through uh, alertness, through diligence, you can pause and go to the people who are trustworthy, who have gone ahead of you sure. in the business. For them to direct your path. That's right. So be watchful. Being watchful is very important. Being vigilant is very important. That's right. Don't do what everybody do. And when you are doing something, you are even learning from somebody. Take inventory. Be careful. And he says, we are of the day. And we are sons of light. Uh, she says, therefore, let us not sleep. Oh, when you sleep, sleeping is not physically you go to bed. But when you close your eyes, you do everything lackadaisically. You do it anyhow. Like you are driving a car. You don't check the oil. You don't take it to services. When you hear a sound in the car, you don't uh, provide it is driving. There is one day on the highway, it will break down. You are to take inventory. In your life, I've been telling friends, pastors, or people in secular jobs, take care of what you are doing. Take breaks. Like driving again. If you are driving far distance, periodically you have to take breaks. People, they don't take break. They live in the house. They do things as it comes. He said, therefore, let us not sleep as others do. Don't be like the others. Apply wisdom. Ask God to direct you. Things are about to die. There is something in this refueling, in this attention. You need break. You need to pause. Somebody, I'm talking to you directly. When we came to this country 33, 34 years ago, people were doing four jobs. Having done two jobs before, I say this to the glory of God. Because with the work of God, uh, uh, initially, you have to do some work. I haven't done two, three jobs uh, uh, before. I'm not rich, but the Lord blesses. Some people, they work, they work, they work, they work. They don't sleep. Take, take, take a break. Pause tonight. Amen. For he says, therefore, let us not sleep as others do. But let us watch and be sober. Are you sober? Are you watchful? There are things that are about to die. But, uh, we pray in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach. 
in the name of Christ Jesus that God will reveal to us. He reveals to redeem. May your eyes of understanding be flooded with light tonight. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Our last scripture and we pray. The Lord is saying the church was dead. Oh, brother, sister, you can be uh, spiritually dead, but you don't know. If you are not careful, all the properties you are amassing, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all other things shall be added unto thee. For the life of a man does not consist in the abundance of things he possesses. What shall he profit a man if he should gain the whole world and lose his own soul? May you not lose your soul. Amen. Vanity upon vanity. For the, the, uh, 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 the whole duty of a man is to fear God and do his commandment. Be watchful. Wait upon God. Ephesians 18 and we pray. Be waiting, be watchful, be, 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 be attentive to the word of God. Study the word of God so that you will be approved of God, so that you won't be a dead person. Spiritually, you are being awakened tonight. Ephesians, 6, Ephesians uh, 18. 18. Praying yes. always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Amen. 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 Praying always with all prayer. So prayer is not a choice. Prayer is a daily necessity of the believer. Amen. When you are prayerful, it means that you are watching. Jesus said, watch and pray so that you will not enter into temptation. Amen. The church as studies, they were so busy with their commercial activities, with their industries, and, and they forgot the things of God. And God says, I know your work, but I have something against you. They became overconfident. They serve God with their lips. And today, that is the order of the day. You, you see a man of God, you see a Christian, and they will quote from uh, 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 Genesis to Revelation. But spiritually, it, 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 deep down, we are empty. God, take away emptiness from our system. God, may we be on fire for you. you. Pray always with all prayer, supplication in the spirit. In the spirit. Amen. Last week at our church meeting on Tuesday, we were praying. Jude uh, 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 prayed and edified himself in the spirit. Romans 8, 26. Praying, praying, praying in the spirit. For we do not know what to pray, but the spirit of God helps our infirmity. Be watchful. And you pray in the spirit with all supplication. Be watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Be watchful. Be watchful. Amen. Be focused. Looking unto Jesus, the altar and the finisher of our faith. And through faith and patience, we will inherit the promises of God. Every day dead situation in your life. Ah, we just celebrated Easter. Resurrection power. The Lord will take away the dryness in your system and the Lord will revive you. Amen. The spirit of revival come upon somebody tonight. Amen. You will not be a dead Christian, but you will be a, a hearty Christian. You will not, not be like lackadaisically uh, out neither hot or cold, but you will be on fire for God. In Jesus' name. Amen. Our time is fast spent. Yes. And we we see what we can yes, do. Yes, sir. Reverend Minister, as the Lord leads you, just pray for us, for our viewers and their families. 
Thank you. Amen. 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 Spirit divine, we invite you into our very self, into our heart. Tonight, may we search our heart. Are we cold? Are we not doing the work of God? Jesus is saying, be watchful and be prayerful. Praying earnestly, praying diligently in your secular work, be watchful. Take breaks, take inventory. You don't work and work and work and don't take, it's like auditing. It's like checking, check your life. Check your relationship with the Lord. Father, oh God, let the mantle of prayer come upon somebody tonight. Amen. Lord, revive us. Lord, save us from falling. The dead things be resurrected Amen. tonight. May every enmity be taken out of our heart. Father, oh God, diagnosis, infirmities, Amen. sickness, Burdens be lifted in the name Amen. of Jesus. I am the Lord that healed. I am the God of all flesh. There is nothing difficult for me. Tonight, God is calling you. He said, come unto me, all ye that be lady. And he said, I will give you rest. Amen. The Lord will give you rest tonight. The Lord will cause you to be activated. The Lord will cause the dead things in your spirit to become alive. Amen. You are physically alive, but spiritually you are dying. May you not die. For David said in Psalm 118, verse 17, <coughs> I shall not die, but I will live to declare the words of the Lord. May, may you declare the words of the Lord. We pray for families. We pray for our loved ones. We pray that every enchantment spirit, every divination spirit, every sorcery Amen. spirit be cast Amen. away tonight. The Lord set you free. Every bandage in your life, we take authority in the Amen. name of the Father. Somebody, you need the hand of God upon something. Somebody, you know yourself, you know you are dry. Somebody, you know your spirituality is going down. The Lord is calling you back to him. The Lord says, come, 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 son, come, daughter, come. I love you, I love you more than you love yourself. Oh, power and might coming to somebody i know you may be you may be meditating on something you may be down but that let the sick say they are uh, healed let the weak say they are strong let the poor receive the goodness of the lord amen there is a debt can cancellation somebody you are in debt the lord says if you will give your heart to me, I will give you ideas and wisdom. Amen. I will wipe away your debts. Amen. I will set you free from that spiritual entanglement. Amen. Somebody, you are doing all, all possible, but it looks like nothing good is coming out of it. The Lord says, I should tell you, give me in your heart. Amen. Do not do lip service, but Pray and seek my face. There is deliverance on this radio station. Amen. For on the Mount of Zion, there shall be deliverance. There shall be holiness. Amen. And the house of Jacob shall possess their possession. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for all. You don't know Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. Come to him. And just say after me, Lord, I love you. Tonight, take away the skills of my face. Receive me as your son, as your daughter. I make you my savior, the Lord over my life. 
I know Christ in me is the hope of glory. You are saved. The Lord bless DJ KB. The Lord bless uh, Top Online Radio. All listeners, you are blessed. You are favored. And there's nothing the devil can do about it. God richly, richly bless you. Uh, uh, thank you for coming. God bless you, DJ. Thank you very much, bye -bye. Uh, man of God. God bless you. Um, dear listeners, as you can see, the um, um, Wailing Intercessors Network, led by Reverend Vanderpoy, they are meeting on Wednesdays, um, 7 p.m.? 7, 7 to 7.30 7 p.m. The oh, meeting uh, ID and passcode is on your screen. Just take a screenshot and yeah. you can join the meeting. If you need to speak to Reverend Banapoy, the number on your screen, 07898-724-108. That is 07898-724-108. He'll be glad to welcome you. Thank you, Reverend Vanderpoy. Uh, hopefully, we will come your we are again next week, same time, for another edition of In His Presence. God bless you. God bless you, sir. Thank you for having bye -bye. me. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. Good night. Um, dear listeners, viewers, that was Reverend Jacob Vanderpoy of the Wailing Intercessors Network. It's a network of prayer warriors. If you have any prayer requests, you can call that number. And on your screen, and also, um, if you want to partake of their meetings on Wednesdays, seven to seven thirty uh, p.m. UK time, that number is on your screen as well. Uh, the meeting ID seven one six three nine nine eight five zero four zero, and the passcode is two Victor Sierra. 8 Papa Alpha. Yes, so you can take a screenshot and so you can join the meeting. So that brings us to the end of today's edition of In His Presence. This is DJ KB. We will take a few messages before I take leave of you. Don't go away. For Ghana for listen to Ohima B this and every Tuesday evening, 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. UK time for our evening talk show, The Man Komo. Join the conversation, family issues, social issues, our Munsem, child upbringing, about Aya Munsem, a man to Tia Munsem, a fear shensem, a member so come home. Don't miss this show this and every Tuesday evening, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Listen to A Man Komo on Top Online.
Online Radio UK. You can watch the program live on Facebook at Top Online Radio UK. You can tune in to us by visiting our website www.toponlinestation.com or you can download our radio app directly from the Play Store or the App Store. You can also tune in to us on Modern Ghana Radio, Ghana Web Radio page, mytuna.com and all third party radio platforms. Join the conversation. What Jun Chen is saying, don't miss this show. This and every Tuesday, 8 to 9 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. You don't want to miss this. A quantio monster. A quantio monster. A quantio monster. This is every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Join Mami Plamai. Plamai PSC. On Top Online Radio UK. Plenty of Monse. Join Mami Plamai. Plamai PSC. This is every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Don't miss this show. Make a date with Mame Pinamai. This and every Thursday, 8 to 10 p.m. UK time on Pentio Munsem. Pentio Munsem. Pentio Munsem. Only on Top Online Radio UK. Yanseni Bakfotrimo. Top Online Radio UK. We will be streaming live on Facebook and YouTube. You can also listen to us on our website, toponlinestation.com. Tune in live on our free mobile radio app. Download the radio app from the App Store and the Play Store. Or go to toponlinestation.com. For more Ghanaian content in the UK and around the world, tune in to Top Online Radio UK. We bring you news, views, interviews, and what have you. Download our free mobile radio app from the App Store and the Play Store. Just search for Top Online Radio UK. We stream live on Facebook and YouTube. For all inquiries, advertisements, or to work with us, contact us on 0044-7902-944-398. Top Online Radio UK, the top Ghanaian station in the UK. Going to do my account and tax returns for me, cra. Certified accountants. Certified accountants. Certified accountants. They will help you with your account and tax returns. Are you a minicab driver, hairdresser, shop owner, or self-employed? Certified accountant. And it was all true with Chapman. And then we must say when you will be a what bring your accounts and tax returns more. Now bans are so more. Now who you are? It didn't make careful. Certified accountant. And the amount of self accounts and tax returns. Company accounts. Bookkeeping. Payroll services. Charity accounts. And gift aid claim. As of what to a deal. Open money today. Certified accountant. Self tax planning. Business advice. Company registration. And many more. And if you should watch it, company or two casa. Now what the hotel bro. No one is a capudo super bro. No bushia. Certified accountant. They say about us from the dia. What to do? Construction workers, agency workers, relief security workers, bank nursing staff. And then we are moving to our temporary workplaces. We are moving from no one is able to do our job. We are doing 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 our job. Address 335-351 Raynham Road South, Dagnam, RM10 8QR. Telephone 0208-226-226. 4933 Mobile 079 568 0 4517 Ah, certified accountant. Mehuma Mamma Mamma Chami. Mudim Puntio Abamedu. 